as a, a girls basketball coach, I've coached girls basketball here 12 years. Um, and hearing all those things about Jennifer, I'm very honored that I can also help kind of continue that legacy. Look forward to doing that this year. Come watch us play, we're gonna be pretty good. Uh, our, next, our next presenter is uh, Courtney Anderson, also a graduate of Dos Pueblos. Uh, she will be introducing Mr. Howard McGillen. Hello everyone. I'm sorry you weren't able to hear the choir better earlier, um, but hopefully those of you who came close, you were able to hear what they were doing and singing. Um, as probably the most recent graduate of DP to speak tonight, um, it's an amazing experience to witness the scope of tremendous individuals that have come from DP. And as talked about earlier, the connection that we have to one another. Actually, the secretary to the Dean of Music at Sacramento State when I was a student there was part of the first graduating class of DP. So talk about a small world. Um, so our next inductee, Howard McGillen, is a man of many talents whose academic career at Dos Pueblos foreshadowed a much greater career in his professional life. While playing to detective and digging through the archives in preparation for this evening, I came in talk contact with one of his former classmates who could not rave enough about the quality of person he is. Just to give you a taste of who he is and who he was in high school, um, he sent me a picture of the uh, award that he received for, or the uh, article about him, about his Trailblazer Award, and this is what it said. Four-year swimming standout, Howard McGillen, is, has felt almost equally at home in the water and on firm ground. He played water polo for three years, acting as captain of the varsity team this year. He was chosen by his teammates as the most inspirational player. Howard was also at ease on stage and gave the performance, and gave fine performances in The Sound of Music, Damn Yankee, She Loves Me, and Four Chargers Stampedes. As a senior, Howard sang in the a cappella choir, and his clarinet has been heard in both the band and orchestra. Howard has belonged to the CSF Varsity Club and Key Club, serving as Varsity Club president this year and the treasurer of Key Club for the past two years. He has represented his class in the Student Senate as a freshman, sophomore, and senior, and served as various senior activities uh, committees. Talk about, you know, foreshadowing a great career. An interesting fact I learned about him is that his older brother, Bill, also went to DP as well as his brother, Steve, but Bill was the lead in The Sound of Music, which was the first play ever done at Dos Pueblos High School, and Howard played clarinet in the orchestra for it. In the years after his graduation, he has become best known worldwide for his uh, record-breaking appearance on Broadway as the Phantom of the Opera uh, with over 2,500 appearances playing The Phantom. He has appeared in a number of notable productions, but if I were to list all of them, we would be here until last call, and I might give Clark Sayer too many good ideas. <laughs> so without further ado, it is my great honor to induct Howard McGillan, who unfortunately is not here tonight to receive his award, but it is my honor to have researched him and get to know this man into the Dos Pueblos Hall of Fame. Thank you. 